Now we're looking at extreme weather events with higher sea levels, higher base temperatures, etc., and the risks these put forward to, to mankind. And in particular, what, what emerged, and these came forward from in particular the Chinese government, that they would lose all rice crops in one given year because as temperatures rise, and during the flowering season of the rice crop, if it rises above 32 degrees for three days in a row, that crop produces no rice. So we used that as a marker to see what was the percentage chance of this happening in a given year. And at the moment, it looks comfortable. You might get an insurance agent to insure China against that. But as you move forward in time, even five, 10 years, on the, the new trajectories, we find that that approach is a very risky situation for China. And let me say, and for the world, because China has deep pockets. They'll be buying food supplies from other parts of the world, wheat, etc., and all of us will experience a very strong march upwards in rice prices. Let me also just mention we said the biggest rice pad paddy field in the world is the Mekong Delta. There, it's not so much temperature rise that is going to cause problems, we pointed out, but it was rising sea levels flooding these enormous rice paddy fields in that delta. And if that happens, they would be salinated, and that's the end of those rice paddy fields. Now, if those two things happen consecutively, you can see that the risk for humanity becomes very great just from those simple uh, analyses.